So Eddie Cub, Churn Cub, guys, welcome along today. We're going to talk about all of the restriction changes, all of the latest news here in Thailand. It is Wednesday, the 6th of October, 2021. Stick around. It's good news. What is happening, people? Welcome back to my channel. Now, today we're going to be talking about some really, really good news that we've got here in Thailand. But before I jump into that, I just want to give you guys a little bit of an update on the subscriptions and donations here. Now, if this is the first time you've joined us, make sure you hit that subscription button. The reason being is basically what I am doing at the moment is for every single subscriber that I get to this channel, I'll be donating 19 baht to the Bangkok Community Help Foundation. Now, the Bangkok Community Help Foundation are helping hundreds and thousands of families in Bangkok at the moment that are really, really struggling in these current times. Now, a bit of an update. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. We now have 110 subscribers on this channel, which means I'll be donating 2,090 baht to the Bangkok Community Help Foundation here in Thailand. If you'd like to donate yourself as well, I'll also make sure that the link is in the description of this video. But thank you, thank you so much for subscribing. So before we get into the video, guys, I'm going to give you a little bit of vocabulary I'm going to be using here because I don't want this video to get flagged down. Now, the C word, if you've watched any of my videos before, you'll understand what the C word is. If you don't, I'm pretty sure you can work it out what the C word means. And then I'm going to use the V word as well. The V word is that, if you know what I mean. It has been 566 days since the emergency decree was first put in place in Thailand, which is when the C word first came about here in March 2020. Now, really, really good news. Numbers are going down. Cases are going down every single day. We hit a high of 24,000 at one point. That number is now down to about 9,000 and that number is going lower and lower every single day. So cases are going down and the V word is going up. Total number of people in percentage terms of the V number is about 47% of the country have had at least one V word and two doses of the V word, I believe is there or thereabouts 30% at the moment, which is fantastic news. So the more the cases go down, the more the V numbers go up, the better and better it is for Thailand. Now they're also making some changes here. The curfew time that we just had, which was 9 p.m. till 4 a.m. has now been changed till 10 p.m. till 4 a.m., which means we get an extra hour that we're actually allowed to have in Thailand and, and people can keep their businesses open for longer, which in turn is only gonna hopefully make them more money. They've also changed the rules on ASQ quarantine. Now, before you had to stay in quarantine for 14 days, no matter what country you're from. Now they have changed that to people that have had the V word to seven days and people that haven't had the V word to 10 days. But either way, hopefully that's going to encourage more people coming here to Thailand. So I've got a question for you guys. Do you think that dropping the quarantine is going to help the country at all? Will you now come to Thailand now that they've dropped that quarantine? Please do drop a comment below. Let me know your thoughts. It'd be great to hear from you guys. Also on top of that, guys, most businesses in Thailand are now allowed to open. Now, not all businesses are open because there isn't necessarily enough tourists for these people to survive to be open. But those businesses that were currently closed before, such as cinemas, swimming pools, fitness centers are now allowed to open, which is great for the people living here. We can slowly but surely start to get back to some kind of normality. I am absolutely buzzing about the cinema being open. And as soon as I am back in Bangkok, I'm gonna do a video about my favorite cinema, a six star cinema. Make sure you watch out for that one, guys. Another bit of great news is Visa on arrival. He's back in Thailand. So all those people that have been struggling to get their visas sorted, etc., for coming here. Every country that had Visa on arrival before has pretty much got that back in place. Now, there's quite a bit of details about the Visa on arrival. So what I'll do is I'll actually leave a link in the description so you can go and do a little bit more research on that. But yeah, Visa on arrival is back in Thailand, which is exactly what we want and exactly what we need just to make that whole process of actually coming here at the moment a little bit more simple. And last but not least, again, I'm not gonna go into too much detail, otherwise this video will be very, very long, but they are introducing something called a free phase plan. Now the free phase plan is basically just about opening provinces, opening places, you know, the ASQ models, reducing the quarantine a little bit more, etc., etc. But if all goes well, the plan is for Thailand to be open on, drum roll, the 1st of January 2022. Now this is Thailand, so things could change, but I really, really do hope that that is the case so that you guys can get yourselves out here, whether you want to move out here, whether you want to come and travel around Thailand, 
let's pray that the 1st of January 2022 is when things finally get back to normal here in Thailand. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have done, once again, please do sub and make sure you drop me a comment below. Let me know what you think of my videos. And hopefully, we pray that I will see you in Thailand very, very soon. Sawadee kap.